Sure. All right, uh, we'll get started. We'll start first with Aaron Ladd. Go ahead, Aaron. Chris was telling us earlier this week, you know, it's a team game. There's points when the offense picks up the defense and there's points when the defense picks up the offense. And I felt like, especially in that second half, there were points when the defense really had the offense on their shoulders. What was going on through the huddle uh, and what was kind of the conversation for you all? You know, it's playoff football. You know, it's championship football. I think every unit, you know, has to take it upon themselves to, you know, hold themselves responsible and accountable. So um, it's all about the team. I don't think defensively, you know, we try to do anything special. We just try to do our jobs. Um, we just try to play fast, communicate with one another. Uh, felt like we started the game off fairly well. Uh, kind of got a little laxed uh, in the middle of the game. Uh, but then in the end, we kind of snapped back to reality, uh, understood the situation, and was kind of able to get off the field you know, we needed to. Go next to Matt, Derek. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Ty, you know, kind of following up on that question, you come onto the field after the interception, Cleveland's got a chance to come down and potentially take the lead. What was kind of the attitude? What were you guys talking about there on the field going into that drive? Well, it's all about making a stop. You know, I think anytime you get in the game, you know, and um, it, it gets, um, you know, critical, you know, the score gets tight. It's all about the outcome of the game. You know, how can we win the game? Um, how can we make the right plays, the routine plays? Um, and I think that's really all we tried to do. Um, and then obviously the offense went out there, you know, was able to, to convert that, that fourth down and, you know, kind of ice the game. But um, we just try to go out there and do our part. Let's go next to Sam Mellinger. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, Tyron, um, hey. You, you talk all the time about uh, sort of one team, one heartbeat, right? Um, I, I'm just curious when, I know it's the other side of the ball, but when the quarterback goes down like that, is, is that part of the conversation at all? Do you guys talk about that? No, nah, I think, you know, I think when anybody goes down, you know, I think, you know, the team tries their best to rally around, you know, that particular player. Um, doesn't matter who he is. I think today, obviously, it was Patrick Mahomes. So I think the whole stadium knew he was out the game. But um, defensively, you know, um, it, it's all about team. You know, I think anytime you – you, you get a moment to, to have some motivation to, to win a game and to pull it through for somebody, one of your teammates. Um, you just got to take advantage of those moments and really seize them. Let's go next to Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Tyron. Um, you've been a guy who, since you've been here, tried to get to know all your teammates. How well have you gotten to know Chad Henney? And do you have any stories <laughs> that maybe illustrate the kind of guy he is? And Brad, I'll have a second question as well. Yeah, I, I talk I talk to Chad, well, you know, basically every morning. Uh, I think, you know, we usually end up pretty early, you know, so, you know, there's nothing for us to do but sit around and kind of, <laughs> you know, shoot it. But, um, you know, he's a great guy. You know, I think uh, one of the things I, I really noticed about him is, you know, he, he's a true professional. You know, he, he's one of those guys that's a true veteran that's always ready. You know, if you're able to watch this guy every single day, Monday through Saturday, he does the same routine as if he's going to play that week. And um, I, I think any backup or, or anybody, you know, should really adopt that philosophy that, you know, at any given moment, you know, you, you need to be prepared to play. You need to be prepared to play, you know, at a fairly high level. And um, so it was good to see Chad come out today and, you know, make some plays. And uh, so, yeah. What told you that he was going to make a couple big plays there with the, the long run and then the, the fourth down pass? What told you that he would that the coaches could trust him with stuff like that? Well, I think if you you I think if we were able to kind of watch him in, in the last game of the regular season against the Chargers, you know, you saw a guy that understood the offense. You saw a guy that that knew where the ball, you know, was supposed to go and he got it there. Um, and I think that's what you should expect, you know, from 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 anybody um, that that's going to step up, you know, and help the team win. But uh, I'm proud of him. I'm, I'm happy for him. Uh, uh, so uh, see if we keep this thing rolling. Got time for a couple more. We'll go Pete Sweeney and then Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Pete. Tyron, congrats on the win. Had a question about your interception and then your near interception. First on the interception, it looked like you kind of stopped yourself. Was that an intentional move to sort of bait Baker into throwing that football? And then on that near one, did you feel if you came up with that cleanly that you were gone for six? Yeah, absolutely. I think I think the first the first play, um, you know, it was just I'm I'm a pattern read guy. I think anytime the routes can begin to develop, I get a feel for the routes. Um, so once I saw three kind of running across the field, I knew somebody was coming behind them. I just kind of dropped three. I saw Landry there. Then I kind of saw Baker begin to scramble a little bit. I wanted Baker to think I was going somewhere other than covering Landry. Um, and I kind of took a step. He threw it and I was, you know, able to kind of make a play. But um, I think that's, you know, that's just kind of football one-on-one. -on -one. We got some great coaches. And I think anytime you get in zone coverages, especially when a quarterback, 
scrambles. If you're in the zone, just match your man as if you were in man cover. So um, that's really all I try to do is, you know, take the coach into the field. We'll go last to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Hey, Tyron, I have two questions hey. for you. Can you explain your perspective of Dan Sorensen's fumble uh, at the goal line? And then secondly, just what was your reaction to actually seeing Chad scramble out of the pocket uh, when you guys needed that, that first down? Yeah, I think, you know, Coach Spags preaches, you know, my job plus, you know, all the time. You know, do your job and then do something extra to help you one of your teammates out. You know, obviously, um, you know, the guy was wide open. He shouldn't have been. <laughs> but I think anytime you have a, uh, anybody on the field that's willing to strain, that's willing to put their body on the line, you know, a lot of good can come from that, you know. And, um, you know, to see Chad Henney, you know, scramble, you know, try to get that first down, um, that, like that's all heart. Like that, those are the moments that lift teams. You know, that, that those are the moments that build confidence. Um, and, you know, I think for us, you know, we try our best to make those plays all the time. You know, we got great coaches. Um, they always put us in great positions. But um, I think when it comes down to it, you know, our players showed a lot of heart today. Aaron, we appreciate the time. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you. Yes, sir.